So now we're going to do some simple tempo mapping to video in Pro Tools. I've already set up a little template for myself of some of what I'm going to use to write to this video. And the first thing I want to do before we even start worrying about the pacing of this video is to actually import it into Pro Tools. So we go into File, Import, Video. And I just have this cheetah video here on my desktop and I just click Open. And this video import options is going to come up and it asks you to start it, you know, at the session start. You can, you know, um, put it at a, a spot or a selection that you've already predetermined. Um, but I'm just going to have it start at the beginning of the session. And I'm going to deselect import audio from file because I know that there's no audio with this particular piece of video. So I don't need to import any empty audio for myself. When I hit OK, what comes up is this video file. So when I press play, you can see that there's a video going on there. Um, I have the click track on right now because we're going to do our mapping and it's really helpful to have that click going because you can actually hear how your tempo is moving around and how it goes from one tempo to the other. So I'm going to actually just play through this video and see if there's any spots that I really feel like I need a tempo change or a speed up or a slow down or something. And as I'm watching, the way that I'm going to mark that is to insert some markers in the timeline. Now, if you're on a laptop, you want to hit function, return to create a marker, or you can just hit enter on a regular Mac keyboard or PC keyboard. Um, so here we go. I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm just going to play this, and when I see something that's interesting to me, I'm going to hit function, since I'm on a laptop, function return to create a marker, and we'll go from there. Now that looks pretty good there. That's a slowdown. I'm just going to call that attack. And we can actually start right from there. So as you can see, there's like a slowdown in the imagery here. Right about there. So I can move my a marker where, as you can see, it's created one here in this markers bar line. I'm going to move that over a little bit just so it's like, yeah, right about there where his paw comes in and attacks. Um, so once I get to that one certain point there, as a reference, you can see that it slows down. So it's probably a good idea for our tempo to slow down as well. Right now I'm already at 120, and if we want to start doing any tempo mapping, I just want to go over to the left where it says Tempo, drop this drop-down um, triangle, and this is going to allow us to draw in any tempo changes that we want. So the first option that we can do is to just do a like, right away drastic tempo change without any um, easing into the tempo change. In order to do that, I'm just going to line it up about where I want it, and just with my pencil tool, which I have selected up here, just click, and it's going to create a little dot. And if I go back to my hand tool, I can actually like click and drag down and line it up exactly where I want it to. And we can bring that down into um, a slower tempo, and we can listen to how that sounds right here. And that will slow it down right away. If we want to do something gradual, we can actually draw in a gradual time change so it slows down instead of being so abrupt. And to do that, we're going to go back to our pencil tool. And uh, if you click and hold it down, you can see that there's several options for drawing with the pencil tool. I chose a line because that's going to allow us to draw a straight line because the freehand can be a little bit squiggly and it won't be quite as even. And I'm just going to click and drag a line down. So I'm clicking and holding and dragging it down. And there we go. And then you can actually hear that gradual tempo change. And that way it slows down gradually. And that's some basic tempo mapping to video for Pro Tools.